She was like, you're probably, you probably was somewhere getting fucked in the ass. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Jamari and I'm back with another video. Today, this video is going to be my coming out story, as you can tell by the title of the video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. As you're probably wondering, why does he have this coffee mug? I'm a little sick, have like a little sore throat and runny nose, so um, got me a little tea to help me out. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So basically, I always knew, like when I was in kindergarten, I always knew, like, from then on, I just always knew. I remember being in kindergarten and, and like, nap time it was me and this other guy. I'm not gonna say his name, because, you know, he's probably watching. We used to just, like, during nap time, just, like, kiss. I went to daycare with another guy. It was, like, me and, like, multiple guys. I was a hoe. <laughs> I always knew. I used to get picked on in school. They used to be like, yeah, he's a faggot, he's gay, da 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 I mean, it used to hurt my feelings, but it's like, at the end of the day, like, I knew. I remember it got to the point where I tried to commit suicide because of it. People do go through things like that, but I mean, look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> I was in the 10th grade. I started talking to this guy, but it was like on the low. Um, we had like a really big following guy it was all over social media. The whole school knew. It was like, yeah, we know about y'all. We know about y'all. We started talking in 10th grade and we had the big following out in 11th grade. And I had stopped coming to school. Like I was in the bed depressed. And one day my grandma had asked me, she was just like, why are you not going to school? Like, what's, what, what is it? Like, why, why aren't you trying to go to school or what's stopping you? And I was just like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Mind you, she was calling me over the phone and just asking. So she was like, all right, I'm gonna stop by after work, gonna sit down and talk. So she had came in the room and she was just like, what's wrong with you? Like, is something going on? Like, you need to talk to me. And I just basically told her like, okay, I did this stuff with a guy. And she was just like, so you're gay? I was like, um, no, lying. Should've just told. I was like, no, I don't know if I'm gay. I think I'm just like, I'm just experiencing, I'm a little curious. And she was like, okay. I started to go back to school again, but it was like slowly. So I would go like one time out the week. And I progressively like started going back. And then uh, senior year came. The depression from 11th grade made me want to like get out of school early. So I graduated early senior year. So I graduated around like January. So senior year went by like that. After that, I began working like full time and I was like traveling. I started traveling to Virginia Beach where I met this other guy. We were like you know, friends or whatever. And then one day, my mom was like, okay, you can use my car, da, da, da. So I used her car and I went to Virginia Beach. And she was like, you have to get your brother from work at 10.30. And I remember this because uh, I wanted to go back and I was like, oh my God, I got your brother at 10.30. So I was thinking, it was like close to like eight. And I was like, okay, if I get there at nine, I mean, if I get there at nine, I can still like 15 minutes and come right back and then get him from work and then, um, take him home and then go back to Virginia. You know me being young, like 15 minutes on line, I mean, at least I get to see my friends and I always can go back. So I'm pressed over this dude or whatever. So I do that and I'm waiting for him to call me and tell me he's ready. He never calls. So he goes back to my mom and was like, um, basically like I never picked him up. I never tried to call. Mind you, I called work and I was like, is he, is my brother still there? Like they were like, no. So I was like, okay, maybe he's home. So I called his phone, he wasn't answering. So I just stayed out. Around like maybe 12, my mom calls me. So I told her I was going to my friend's house, my friend named Ayana, and um, I was lying. I was really going to sneak out to Virginia, and um, she didn't know that. So she had called my phone, I was in Virginia, so I didn't answer. She, um, she just kept calling my phone, so I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm getting in the car, rushing back home. She still called my phone. Kid you not, she called my phone like 40 times in like, uh, maybe like a 20 minute zone. She called my phone like 20, 40 times. I eventually just turned my phone off because I'm so nervous. I'm speeding on the highway, it's raining. I'm going like 80 miles per hour just trying to make it home. Uh, I finally get like close to town, I answer. And I was like, hello? She was like, where the fuck are you? Where the fuck are you? I'm just like, mom. I'm at Ayana's house and I fell asleep and then she was just like, uh, Bring my car now, bring my car now. So I bring her car and she's outside waiting for me. Like 
nervous. I'm shaking, my body's shaking. She snatches the keys out of my hand. She said, and give me your house key too. So I give her the house key and I'm thinking like, I can go up. She was like, no, get in your car and you can leave. I was like, can I get my stuff? Like, she's like, no, I don't want you in my house no more. She was like, you're probably, you probably was somewhere again. Fuck in the ass, fuck in the ass, fuck in the ass. <laughs> Call my grandma, I'm crying, like, grandma, like, this just happened, she was like, just calm down, just calm down, just breathe, and I'm crying, I'm around you, it's raining, I'm driving, so, um, I call my friend back, and I say, Ayana, listen, I'm about to come to your house, and my mom calls you, just cover up for me, and just be like, I was at your house, and I fell asleep, she was like, alright, so I end up going to her house that night, and I stayed there that night, and then the next morning I woke up, it was around like 6, I woke up around 6, got dressed, and I called, I texted her, I was like, I'm on my way to get my stuff. So, when I got there, like, my stuff was already packed, so she was like, ready for me to go. Mind you, like, I was going off to college in probably like the next, like, three months, so, um, my siblings are like, helping me take my stuff to my car. Before I had, like, I had, like, one last bag left, and she stopped me. She was like, come here, I gotta ask you a question. So we're talking, so she asked me. Are you gay? I'ma work this bitch. Say she worked me when she thinks she put me out of the house. Bitch, you ain't put me out of the house. I put myself out of the house. And I was like, I thought you already knew. She was like, so you are. And I was like, I thought you already knew. And I'm just, I'm throwing it out. I was like, my sister already knew. I, th I threw that out. I was like, my sister already knew. Da -da -da -da. I was like, grandma knew. She was like, so when would you want to tell me? I was like, I thought you already knew. I was like, a mother knows. Like, trying to be funny because she already pissed me off. She already, the night before, she already told me, like, I was probably somewhere getting duped in the ass. So, you know, I just threw, like, I thought you already knew, boo. Nah, boo. And, um, basically, she was just like, wow, like, you kept this from me and all this. And then she was just like, I love you regardless. Um, just be safe, basically. So, you know, that's going through my head as I'm walking to my car, put my stuff in there, and, and I now drove off, and then I got to the uh, stoplight, and I just broke down crying, like, wow, like, my mom just really just gave up on me. I felt like she gave up. I had no hope. So, I went to my grandma's house, and um, my grandma was just, like, uh, her and my sister were sitting in the living room, and uh, I walked in. My grandma was like, so you're gay? I'm just like... girl like i told you this already so why are you acting new to it she was just like well i didn't know if you were sure like you told me you were basically testing the waters and i was just like me and my sister was just like listen you can be gay but don't be that extra gay when you wearing wigs and stuff she was like we support you how you are but you know don't go the whole nine yards and start wearing wigs transitioning because then like that's gonna be a lot to take in at once and i was like okay i feel you like i was like but i'm not that type anyway so then um yeah time went on and um it was time for like graduation had came like it was time for me to walk across stage and um my mom had maybe i didn't talk to her at all until like maybe two weeks before graduation she called me and she was just like graduation coming up da, da, da. i want to make sure you have things to wear telling me like she's going to be there and i was like okay i ended up seeing her during graduation for the first time in like a long time it's like we never skipped a beat and ever since then we've been like super tight like i tell her anything anything that i go through anything that i'm experiencing like i tell her and she just be like she be giving me the best advice ever basically my message to anyone who's basically going through it or trying to come out to someone i would just say be yourself that's like the number one thing i don't care what anyone else thinks to me i don't care how anyone looks at me or anything because I have acceptance from my family. Continue to be positive. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share my channel with a friend. The videos are just only going to get better from here. You can follow my social medias at uh, Instagram is Jermari. That's J-R-M-R-I. On Twitter, it's the same exact thing with the underscore. And then my Snapchat, of course, is Q-Y underscore one M-E-R-E. -E. If you guys have any questions or any concerns about anything, just DM me or comment it under the video. And um, until next time, Peace out. Thanks for tuning in, guys.